how you could massively improve your nameplates using just deadly boss mods and deadly boss mods dungeons. I'm going to start off by pulling a whole bunch of crap here in Nakud because it's a great example of mobs whose abilities are very important to track. And right away you see these little boxes showing cooldowns above the nameplates of important abilities. Crowd Watch control. your step. I'm letting them cast stuff, getting some nameplate timers up. This is DBM out of, out of the box, pretty much. It has been configured to where I put them where I want them to be, which I'll get into later. Interrupt. But as you can see, Crowd control. it's very accurately tracking the important abilities on these mobs just by being installed. Watch your step. So I go through every dungeon in Mythic Plus since what? pretty much Season 2 of Dragonflight and through even The War Within I've been doing this on the dungeons. Watch your step. So you don't have to. All you have to do is install DBM, what? configure it once, and you're good to go. And you get this. They're even color-coded. If you, if you have your bars color-coded correctly, like you see the light blue means interrupt. The purple means a targeted ability. It's something you probably have to avoid. This light green here, it's a tank ability. It's a rolled color, which means as a tank, I probably have to be careful of that ability cooldown for my survivability. And all of that's available to you at a glance. Watch your step. This is how DBM massively helps you in Mythic Watch Plus. Now what makes this different than other solutions that are out there? Well, the aim of DBM's implementation is to be the most no-fuss option there is. It's automatically maintained and updated through DBM, so you don't have to go on Wago or wherever you get your week hours from and look for the new one every season or rotation of dungeons to get your new nameplate timers. All you have to do is update DBM and you're done. When you have multiple third-party solutions, like say you get a new week hour pack every season, you might have to configure it completely again because it's a different aura. It's not the same aura as before. Now, sometimes the old aura is updated. And that is good, but sometimes it's not. What if that person just quits updating that pack? Now you gotta use someone else's pack with someone else's configuration and make it to your liking. DBM aims to be no fuss to where you literally configure the position once. And that's it. Next season, it just works. The season after that, it just works. The season after that, it just works. The expansion after that, it just works. I have been maintaining this for several seasons now and will continue to do so for many, many more. So once you set it, it's one and done. And then you just go and do dungeons and all you have to worry about is the dungeon not fumbling with your UI. And that's what the aim of DBM is with it being a one-stop solution for nameplate timers. And the more important thing here is it works with everything. It doesn't matter what nameplate mod you use. You don't, whether you're using Plater, Kui, LVUI, or base UI nameplates, it works with all of them because that was considered with the inception of the feature. Now, if you do use Plater, it has a special configuration specifically for that. See, these options you see here, you use these for every other nameplate. If you're using Plater specifically, it actually integrates here. You go to Plater, and you go to Buff Special. That's here. And right here is an option called DBM Cooldown Icons. Enable this, and you configure where it appears, the size, and all that here. It's like, but how do I configure it? Do I have to go into a dungeon to configure it? No, you do not. You can just simply do... DBM, 
Click on nameplates and click this test button right here. Make sure you're near nameplates, which is why I'm here. I'm in this target dummy area. Hit test nameplates. Now you can configure it. Now mind you, this is an egregious example. Under no circumstance in any dungeon are you going to have this many icons over every nameplate. So while you're in this mode, if you're using Plater, you can figure it here. Maybe you want to change this icon to like an 8 or 10 or whatever. Four, three, two. One. I prefer square icons, but they don't have to be square. In fact, I'll unchange it. I'm going to go 20 and 13, just because why not? Or oh, those icons look ugly. Four. But that's why you want to make them. Two, so be it. One. Default, or the one I like is 28 and 28, but that does not, not be for you. Maybe you want it bigger or smaller. Maybe you want it narrow. There you go. Another way to start a test, I think you can just do DBM test. Yeah, that works too. Slash DBM test, and you know you have to go through the DBM GUI. Now my icons look like this. They're narrow and tall. Again, that's probably not a realistic configuration. I'm just being silly. And you can change their position. You know, raise them up, lower them. Change their anchor position. Maybe you want them on the left side. Maybe you want them on the right side. Or the bottom left. Or the right. One. Fear incoming. I tend to go with top because that's just how it works with my UI. But how it works with yours is just up to you getting it set up. And that's how you configure it through Plater. Now I'm going to show you how to configure it through Three. not Plater. So you can see what it does with the default UI. DBM test. There they are. Default UI. Icons already going. And I try to make it so the default configuration is not half bad. So it's, well, it's not half bad. But again, you just configure that here in DBM. Again, the settings is pretty similar. Icon size. Now, obviously, DBM is a little more limited. It has to be a square icon when you're using DBM. You can't make it like weird, ugly rectangles. I try to protect users from themselves a little bit Four, in my options. Two, Player tends to be more advanced user-centered, so they allow more advanced configuration, which is why if the user, user has Plater, DBM lets Plater handle it and not handle it internally. But I could do this. I can make the icon... Four. Big. Three, but now the icons are huge. Nonetheless, you can still do it real easily and configure it once. And once you configure it once, you're one and done. Obviously, having icons this huge would probably be a terrible idea in dungeons. You probably don't want to do that. Let's say I want to move them anchor point. Right? Now it's to the right, and it's obviously a mess because I didn't optimize it. But you get the idea. You go through this configuration, get it thoroughly set to the way you want it, and then you don't have to worry about it again. Your settings will stay and persist Run away. through every season, every patch, every expansion. And that's Four. BBM nameplate timers. Two. One. I hope this massively helps you. And I'm going to throw this out there too. If you're using Plater, if you probably noticed, I'm definitely using Quasi's Plater profile Four, because three, two, it works very sweet with my, my nameplate timers. It's like bread and butter coming together. The perfect combo for Mythic Plus. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.